Joe Mitchell, ActivateYourGreatness.com. And I'd like to welcome you tonight to my five minute Facebook Live. It's going to be very short and sweet, but hopefully it will be sweet enough so that you enjoy and get some great benefit out of it. So tonight what we're going to talk about and is, is part of my nine step system for financial and spiritual success. I call it tapping into business success. And whether, whether or not we want business success or whether we want regular success, inspiration is a wonderful, wonderful ingredient. And that's the thing that I want to talk about tonight. How do you get inspired? So inspiration is this thing where it comes from within and you are motivated and you are moving and with with ease and with grace who doesn't want that inspiration is such a powerful powerful mover and when we have inspiration then we can go after our goals with a lot more gusto we don't have to be hustling and grinding and going through the motions and pushing ourselves even though we don't want to. Inspiration is another feeling altogether. And that's what I want to help you to get tonight. So I'm just going to go over three really critical, well not critical, but important ways to get yourself inspired. So the first, the first one is to think about your prior successes. If you think regularly about your prior successes and get into them, get into the feeling of your, private, your prior successes, this is going to get you primed for inspiration. What have you done that you've been really successful at? And it could be something small. It doesn't have to be a huge deal. It could be something very small that you are very proud of. And that is going to be uh, maybe there are times when you've profited from challenges. Maybe you can remember those times and think about them and, and get into the feeling of profiting from challenges. So the first one is, what is it? <laughs> think about your past successes, number one. Number two is going to be to put forth your best effort to develop your self-confidence. Go for it. I mean, just put forth your very best effort. Like, pretend that you're self-confident. Think about it. Imagine it. You are self-confident. Whatever you're doing, add some confidence. Imagine what it would be like if you were really confident. That's a very important thing. So, really consciously add confidence to whatever you're doing and that's going to lead you to feeling like I can do this okay again we want to talk about my favorite technique which is tapping okay and it's tapping on meridian points on your on your face and on your chest and the the thing that I there's a complete sequence which I will put a link to in, in, the, in the bottom, but uh, you know, below in the comments. But what I really want you to do is just tap. So th this is one of the really great points here that you can tap on. And you can tap on positive affirmations. Now, I don't, I don't really teach the positive tapping as much as I teach the tapping, the release tapping. Okay, release tapping is really, really powerful. So if you are sitting at your desk or you're feeling uninspired, you can just tap. And this is really this is this is the thing that most people don't get and don't understand and don't really it doesn't make any sense. You can tap. I don't feel inspired. I don't feel inspired. And it's right on this bone here. I don't feel inspired. And then under here, I don't feel inspired. I don't feel inspired. I don't feel inspired. And then right here under the collarbone, on either side of the middle, I don't feel inspired. I don't feel inspired. 
Now, if you just take a couple of minutes to tap on those three points and, and say the thing that's true, what you're going to notice is that suddenly, even though you don't feel inspired, you feel less uninspired. And suddenly you get to a point where maybe you feel a little inspired. Tapping is powerful. I've got to tell you, it is one of the most powerful things. I'm going to do, I think next week I'm going to do a series on tapping so that you can get a sense of what it is. But this is uh, a key in my life to having inspiration. So you focus on past successes. You add confidence, and you tap. Three powerful ways to get inspired. Go for it. You got this. I'd like to invite you also to get my book. I wrote a book here. It's called The Art of Joyful Achieving. Let me see if I can show it to you. The Art of Joyful Achieving. And it is on Amazon. But I have two free chapters on my website. So if you go to activateyourgreatness.com, you can get two free chapters. Check it out. See what I have to say. I think it'll be worth your time, I promise. And I also have a video that you'll get that's on tapping if you, if you, if you follow it through. And check it out. So thank you very much for listening. And this is Joe Mitchell, checking out. Thanks so much, and have a great day.